everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the Sophie and Toffee Cinderella box as well as show you how to make a Cinderella carriage using resin. These Disney boxes by Sophie and Toffee are quarterly subscription boxes and they are now also shipped directly to the US so you don't need to worry about a third party shipping the package. So in the box we received some different pigments, glitters and findings, a Cinderella doll silicon mold, a Cinderella glass slipper mold, silver open bezel charms, metal embellishments, Cinderella cane slices, Cinderella resin film, UV resin, crystal LED resin, epoxy resin with a one to one ratio, shaker oil, and molds to create Cinderella's carriage. So to begin, I took the silicon molds and I just used a paintbrush to apply some of the pigments and glitters inside. I went with a blue theme for the ball carriage side and then an orange theme for the pumpkin side. I also cut the little pumpkin out of the resin film and added it to the mold, which I don't actually recommend doing because it didn't work out anyway. So definitely add it after you have added the resin. Next up I took the epoxy resin and I ended up just mixing the whole lot together so I poured both bottles into a cup and then I mixed it together until it was ready to use. One of the parts of my resin was actually quite thick even though I had soaked it in some warm water so my mixture ended up being really bubbly and I feel like this was the first sign of failure in this video but I kept going along anyway. So I put the mixture into two different silicon cups and then I added my pigments and mixed them all together. I poured the blue mixture into the Cinderella door and then the orange mixture into the pumpkin carriage door. I also just made a basic white glittery mixture for the middle part of the carriage as well as the wheels and other details. So for this I just used some white liquid pigment and I poured in a few of the iridescent glitters and mixed it all together. So I let my resin harden overnight for 24 hours and then I demolded the pieces. I also had to go ahead and do another set of wheels because the mold only comes with two of the wheels. Here you can also see my little pumpkin piece kind of disappeared into the resin and it also created a little bubble so I needed to fix that up later on. Next up I painted the curtains of the carriage so I used some silver acrylic paint for my blue door and a gold acrylic paint for my orange door. Thank you. 
I then painted on the other details using my Posca paint pens because it was easy to control where I wanted the paint to go. I used some blue and yellow paint, but this is where I discovered that my bubbly resin could very easily be seen, so it doesn't exactly look the best, but I don't know, I feel like I wasn't having much luck when filming this video. Anyway, next I went to go fix up my orange door, so the only design that was big enough to cover the pumpkin was this heart. So I just used some UV resin to attach it on, and then I used my torch to cure it. For some other details, I cut some more designs from the resin film, and then I added them to the centerpiece of the carriage, again using my UV resin. Next it was time to put the doors on the centerpiece using the little hinges. So I used UV resin to attach these and hook on the doors. You do want to make sure that you place them on opposite sides of the carriage so that the doors can open up the opposite way. Lastly, I attached the wheels onto the base, again using UV resin, and then I also added on a little bird and mouse cane slice, but I actually forgot to film that part. So here's what my finished carriage looks like. It's definitely not as perfect as I would have liked, but everything just seemed to go wrong as I was filming this video. So this is the best I could do, but I guess that's okay because sometimes projects just want to fail. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more crafty videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!